In 1991, the 11-year-old J.C. Dugard was kidnapped walking towards her bus stop. She was forced into a car by a guy called Philip Garrido. This Haiwan Philip kept her for 18 years, forcing a family on her, having two kids with Philip, and she, did, she just decided to adapt and go with it in order to survive. You just do what you have to do to survive. Thankfully, after 18 years, she was discovered. Even though she missed 18 years of her life, thankfully, with good therapy, she got back on her feet. Now, there has been a story coming out yesterday as well. It is a very sad and happy story at the same time of this guy called Omar bin Umran. Bro was not kept for 18 years. He was kept for 27 years. Now, Omar wasn't 11 when he got kidnapped. He was 17 years old and he was only found when he was 45 years of age. Now, you might tell yourself, why didn't he, you know, fight back? He was a grown man during this whole time. Something would have come up. But the kidnapper, who is now 61 years old, he has thought of everything. Now in Algeria, in a mountain city of Djelfa with a population of 500,000 people, Omar was chilling with a dog. I don't know if it was his dog or a street dog. After a few hours, bro was kidnapped by this guy who was like 15 years older than him. And during the time he got kidnapped in the 90s, Algeria was going through a civil war. So Omar's family, they thought that he died during a gunfight or he died during the war. And the way they found him has to be the silliest way possible. But before we get into that, let's go find the uh, let's go watch the footage of Omar being found. <laughs> The media, the police, the ambulance, everyone, they gathered up to celebrate his release after 27 years, even though everyone thought that he was dead. This has to be the biggest kidnapping, if not only in Algeria, but in the world. It's either that or these people saw people gathering up, taking photos, and they all decided to, you know what, let's do the same. Or they were just bored with the life and they decided to go where the sirens are. Now, he was found and rescued on 12th of May last week, 200 meters away from his own family's house. And the sad part is, even though after all these years, the mother tried looking for him finally that they found him in 2024 but unfortunately the mother died 11 years ago in 2013 so she died without ever knowing the truth about what happened this is why i don't like people this is why neighbors i don't even say hi to them i don't know what they do i don't know what they're capable of People say you need to socialize, you need to hang out with people, you need to like people. This is why I'm introvert, man cave. I like to be what I am, play with my cat, meow at my cat. That's about it. Now the sources say when he was kidnapped and where he was kept only 200 meters away from his own house. Because he was so close to the house, the dog could sense him. He could smell that he's around somewhere. But the kidnapper, he has thought of everything because just a few weeks later, the dog was found dead by poison but there's also rumors going around that the reason why he didn't fight back because he was he was a grown man that guy was like an old man right he, it's 27 years you might have like multiple opportunities to do something call for help either beat him up or you know find an opportunity to get out or run away but they're going around and they're saying that the reason why he didn't fight back was because he was under black magic that he could not scream talk or move he couldn't do anything now as a muslim myself i truly believe in black magic because it happened to my grandmother as well for those of you who've been around the channel you know the story it is real people it is real but it is only at like the village places the mountain places in a very small place around the world my mom told me last week when she was here she said when she was back in iran there's a lady going around in a place it's like a mountain type of place it's called shamal it's like the russell Khema of uae over here she said that the people are looking for an old woman walking around and snatching black cats draining them of their blood and putting their bodies back on the street and people are looking to capture this woman and beat her up why is she doing that she uses the black cat's blood for black magic there's a lot of information about this if you want to learn more but i really believe that he was under you know black magic that's why he couldn't do anything about it but personally if i get kidnapped by an old man first of all they cannot because once they start coming towards me i just show them my guns and they're going to walk the other direction and let's say a person has a weapon or a sharp knife and they come towards me and they put they're like do what you say you have to stay very calm in this i'm about to drop some knowledge in case you get kidnapped in the future on how to respond to this 
All you gotta do, it's extremely simple. All you gotta do, they, you comply. You say, yes, I will do whatever you want. You don't panic. You don't cause any drama. You go to that person's house, they're gonna be like, mm, I have you now. You are mine. You're going to do whatever I say. You say, yes, boss. You just, you just go with it, right? You just go with it. Give it like a few hours until he feels like, oh, he has you. He has power over you. But this is just reverse psychology because the second he comes like with your food, you got to be like, Psst, look, a flying giraffe. The second he is going to look away, you're going to capture the weapon. You're going to knee him in his balls. Pah! Give him an elbow on his face and he is going to get he's gonna go to sleep all the videos you see about urban survivor training all these people they're like licensed professionals who are doing these videos none of them have experience like me i've actually been in this situation i was almost kidnapped when i was 16 years old but the way i handled the situation kidnapper was never seen in the area again and again if the you know, if you don't have the strength and you don't think you can hit someone in the face, all you gotta do once they start walking towards you is go like... <coughs> Guaranteed full success. So for more self-defense classes, press that subscribe because in this channel, not only I will, you know, slap you with knowledge, you will be learning how to defend yourself against these kind of situations as well now how did omar got found how did they find out about this whole kidnapping bro kept it safe for 27 years how did it get leaked i told you at the beginning it's a very silly way the kidnapper and his brother they inherited the parents i think the parents died or the uncle died there was some money there or some properties and it went to the ki <coughs> the kidnapper's name and the brother they had a fight and they were like no this is mine no this is mine they had a whole argument about this and the kidnapper's brother was like you know what i'm gonna be toxic about this whole thing he went to police and he gave a tip on this my brother has been kidnapping this person for 27 years go catch him the kidnapper's brother in his head he was like the second they catch him i will get all his inheritance because he's going to get a death penalty or he's going to get to prison and i'm going to take all his stuff now bro really didn't think all of it through because he knew about this whole thing the whole time and he kept it away from the police for 27 years and he thinks he's going to get away with it there's no news of you know the brother getting arrested as well but he should be he kept it a secret from all these people. He played along with it. Who knows if he wasn't a part of it as well. But the brothers started snitching. What the fuck? But the brothers started snitching on each other. And I'm pretty sure the 61-year-old, the kidnapper himself, he also snitched on him if the second he found out that his brother snitched on him. There's a whole family drama <laughs> going on with this. But I'm very happy that seeing him just come out of this situation bro is traumatized bro had no access he's probably gonna come into this world and be like what the fuck is this thing called instagram we have touch phones now he needs a couple of years to adapt to this whole society and the government they offer them a psychological care after being rescued uh they vow to give him justice they're going to take care of him basically it's honestly truly a sad story but it came to a happy ending that he didn't lose his life he still has a lot of years to live and adapt to the society he still have a chance to start a family inshallah and get get back on his feet bro like the thing that makes it sadder as well he looks so innocent he looks so fucking innocent, bro. It just, it just makes it a lot sadder. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a movie about this. Hollywood directors and producers are already taking notes on who they're going to uh, hire for the role of this movie. Pretty sure in a year, the movie going to come out. So what did we learn from this video? Do not trust your neighbors. You have no idea what they are capable of and you might be the next victim but yeah i saw this video yesterday and i thought it was really interesting thought i'll share it with you let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments below take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one